Good morning, friends. Father Wynn here with my Peruvian coffee cup on Saturday, June 6th. Church celebrates today the first book of common prayer, Thomas Cranmer's book, in 1549. Let's begin by closing our eyes if we're comfortable and taking a few deep, slow breaths. And I'm not going to guide you today. I'm just going to let you find your own pace, your own rhythm, breathing in, pausing, and then releasing your breath, knowing that whatever you carry on your breath is carried to the breath of God. The one thing I might mention to you is uh, we carry a lot of tension in our body. A lot of that tension comes from holding things in. And remember that you can release what you hold in on your breath. Bring it to awareness and release it into God's hands and God does the rest. And sometimes what God brings us is action, an action of love or an action of speaking the truth for justice, or an action for walking with those who are facing injustice. So let God give that back to you. As you release your breath and all that you carry, God will bring you back a response. So we'll take a moment of silence as we do that. And we'll begin on page 80 of the Book of Common Prayer. Page 80. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We'll continue with the... Uh, the 90 on page 82, and I'm going to use the Lenten antiphon given the times that we are in. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. The psalm reading is Psalm 33 on page 626. Psalm 33 on page 626. And I will take a sip of my morning coffee out of my Peruvian coffee cup. Page 626, Psalm 33. We're going to read 1 through 5, and then we're going to jump down and read 20 and 21. 1 through 5, and 20 to 21. And after verse 5, I will uh, remind you to jump down to verse 20. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous. It is good for the just to sing praises. 
Praise the Lord with the harp. Play to him upon the psaltery and lyre. Sing for him a new song. Sound a fanfare with all your skill upon the trumpet. For the word of the Lord is right and all his works are sure. He loves righteousness and justice. The loving kindness of the Lord fills the whole earth. Continuing with verse 20. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Indeed, our heart rejoices in him. For in his holy name we put our trust. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading is from John chapter 4, verses 21 to 24. And this is part of Jesus meeting the Samaritan, the Gentile woman at the well. Jesus said to the Samaritan woman, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeks such as these to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The service continues on page 94 with Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed. And I'll pause here while you find your place. Psalm 19, I'm sorry, Canticle 19. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the ways of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. 
Almighty and ever-living God, whose servant Thomas Cranmer with others restored the language of the people in the prayers of your church. Make us always thankful for this heritage and help us so to pray in the spirit and with the understanding that we may worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Saturdays. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Collect for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. During this time of great distress and a seeking and yearning for justice, we pray, look with pity, O Heavenly Father, upon the people in this land who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to these, our neighbors. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection under the law and equal opportunities for all, and grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this land, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We remember today those on our prayer list, especially those who are deployed, Ryan, Max, Finn, Philip, Matthew, Junito, David, Catherine, and Rick. We pray for all healthcare workers, especially Sally, Jim, Glenn, Robin, Carolyn, Tom, Norwood, Beth, John, Sarah, and Virginia. We pray and remember our homeless neighbors and working poor and all who serve them. We pray for all hospital chaplains, especially Deb, for military chaplains, especially Chandler, David, and Nigel. We remember the repose of the soul of Carlotta Bell. Carlotta is going to be interred today, Saturday, at 2 p.m. in our columbarium. We pray for all those facing illness, surgery, injury, or adversity, especially Stanley Avery, Stephen Blythe, Will Chamberlain, Celia Church, Dana Coltrane, Phil Davey, Christine Fryer, Jane Gardner, Billy Greer, Cliff Inge, Bob Latimer, Ruth Provost, Fred Quist, Charlie Riddle, Macon Riddle, James Peter Roberts, Mary Smith, and Ann Trailer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. I hope you all have a beautiful Saturday. I hope you have a chance to take some rest today, maybe take a walk or, or just a nap or a little bit of reading to savor the day. Even God rested at the end of creation. And rest is the summation 
of creation. It's ultimately what makes us human. And also remember that uh, tomorrow we have no morning prayer. We have our liturgy, which will be posted later tonight. And uh, we're pleased to welcome as celebrant and preacher tomorrow, our own bishop, the Right Reverend Susan Haynes, celebrating and preaching on Trinity Sunday. She will also be leading with me a Zoom live presentation at 1045 to 1130. It will be an informal presentation. She'll talk a little bit about what's going on as far as regathering the church, but also to think about with us uh, how we might frame and respond to these times in which we are living. Have a beautiful day.